Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you had an excellent week. Another beautiful sunshiny week. Wahoo! I've heard there's been some flooding. I hope none of you have had to deal with that. That could be a cause to worry, couldn't it? If you had your basement all flooded up, maybe your favorite stuff was down there, maybe your parents' valuables were down there, and it takes a lot of work and money and it's a mess, right? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about worry. And I say, don't worry, be happy. So what is worrying, really? What do you think? You know, fretting about something, um, being nervous about something. It is that, but really what it is, is it's being hyper-focused on one problem. You're dwelling on it. It's ruling you, basically, right? So why we worry? I'm worried about my math test, right? We worry in order to solve our problems or challenges. I'll study all night. Now, does worrying actually help or hinder? If you studied all night, would you be well rested for your test? Something to think about. I hope I studied enough. We worry to control the outcome. So really, we worry in order to solve problems or challenges and to control the outcome. So let me tell you about worry in this backpack. Look at this, that looks heavy. Help, she says, right? Well, what if we put on our backpack of worry? Oh my gosh, this is heavy. I can barely hold it up. Okay, wow, I broke it. It's that heavy. All right, I'm gonna squat down here. Let's see what I got in this backpack of worry. We worry about death of family or ourself. Today especially, we worry about world problems. Maybe the world ending. You've heard a bunch of crazy say that. Don't believe it, okay? All right. How about divorce? My parents are divorced and I worried, when would I see my dad? Will they fight? It was hard, it wasn't fun. Sometimes we worry about friendships. Right now, we don't get to see our friends. We don't get to be with our friends and we miss them and we wonder, are we still gonna be friends when we go back to school? So we may worry about friendships. School grades, doing online school has not been fun, has it? It has not been an easy task for moms and kids and you're almost done, but we do worry about our grades and our schoolwork. And then, of course, the coronavirus. We worry about our friends getting it, our parents getting it, our grandparents getting it, anybody we love getting it. We don't want to get it. It's miserable, right? So we're worrying about this stuff. But if I take all this stuff out of my backpack, look, it's light, it's easy, it's, it's easy to carry. So let's keep this in our mind. Don't forget this backpack experiment and let's move on. So what does Jesus tell us about worry? This is what he tells us. He says, look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns for your heavenly father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? And why worry about your clothing? Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing, yet Solomon in all his glory was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown into the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? Okay, so let's discuss this. Does God care about the birds more than he cares about us? I know your answer is no. Aren't we more valuable to God? More valuable to God than a bird, yes. Do you think God cares more for you, just you, than a bird? Yes, these are all obvious answers, but here's why. We are made in God's image, remember this. God sent Jesus down for us to ransom himself. Jesus was fully God and fully man. And what did Jesus do for us? You all know this, he gave us forgiveness of our sins and eternal life. Well, that's a huge love and that's a huge care. So if Jesus is telling his disciples and his followers, look at the birds, they don't plant or harvest, they don't worry, look at the fields, they don't worry, so don't you worry, do not worry. He says, those of you who do, you have little, little faith. So how do we avoid worry? We give all of this, every single bit of this, we give this all right up to Jesus. We give it to him, he takes it, and we don't take it back. Bye, worry, all gone, right? How do we do that? How do we do that? Through prayer. 
And through his word, we trust, we trust Jesus with all of our worries because we know exactly how much he loves us. So let's take a moment to pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for these kids. Thank you for taking such good care of us. Thank you for taking our worries. We don't want to take them back. We're going to hand them all up to you and leave them with you. And we're going to trust that you have our best interest at heart. So help us with all of our worries of friends and grades and the coronavirus, death, divorce, and so many other things. Just let us feel your comfort and your peace. And we love you so much. Amen. Okay, guys, remember, worrying is like a rocking chair. Sure, it gives you something to do, but you're not going anywhere. You guys have a great week. Bye-bye.